everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this nesting shell stitch. It's a very uh, beautiful pattern and uh, quite easy to work once you get the hang of it. Today I'm going to be working it in three colors. It's similar on the back as it is on the front. Today I'm going to be using a 5mm crochet hook as well as three different colors of a 100% cotton yarn. I'm using the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand and links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. Also there in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern that is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, please feel free to say hello down in the comments. Let me know how you would use this stitch in a project. Also, don't forget to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and a new stitch tutorial every Sunday morning. For our stitch today, we're going to start, uh, we're going to work it in rows and we're going to start by making a slip knot. And you're going to chain a foundation chain and your chain needs to be a multiple of four stitches plus two. So today I'm going to chain a total of 22 chains. Once you have your foundation chain to the desired length, you're going to begin by working a half double crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each chain all the way across. At the end of row one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row two, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into the first stitch. The chain one does not count as a stitch. You're then going to skip the next stitch and into your next work three double crochet stitches. Skip the next stitch and into your next single crochet. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next stitch and into your next stitch work three double crochet stitches. Skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next. Repeat all the way across ending with a single crochet into the final stitch. When you come across at the end of row two, you're going to single crochet into that final stitch and we are going to switch to our color B. So we're going to yarn over, insert a hook, yarn over, drop a loop with our color A, drop that color A, pick up your color B and place it on your hook and then pull through. You're now all set to continue working with your color B. So chain one, or sorry, chain three, and turn your work. Now working with our color B, we're going to continue working shell stitches and double crochet two together's, sometimes working un, uh, under the stitch in the last row and into the stitch two rows below. So for instance, we're going to begin with a double crochet into our first stitch so our chain three also counts as a stitch. And we're then going to work a double crochet two together, inserting our hook in the stitch under this single crochet for the first leg. So yarn over, bring your hook under that single crochet and into the top of the stitch two rows below. Insert your hook, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. We're then going to complete this stitch by reaching over across under the next single crochet into the stitch two rows below. So yarn over, reach across, insert your hook under that next single crochet into the stitch two rows below, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all 
three loops. So that's your double crochet two together and you're working around that shell stitch and into uh, the stitches under the single crochet stitches two rows below. You're then going to uh, skip that shell and under this single crochet stitch you're going to work uh, or sorry into this single crochet stitch you're going to work three double crochets. So we're now we've skipped this whole shell into the top of this single crochet stitch, work three double crochets. We're now going to work a double crochet two together once again, first inserting our hook under the single crochet, the same stitch that we've been working in. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop yarn over and pull through two, skip that the three double crochets, the shell stitch, complete your double crochet two together by inserting your hook under the next single crochet stitch, and finish the stitch. You're then going to repeat working three double crochets into the top of that next single crochet stitch, followed by a double crochet, two together, working under the two single crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way across. When you come all the way across at the end of row three, you're going to finish with your double crochet, two together, Worked again under those single crochet stitches. And then you're going to finish off the row by working two double crochets into the top of your final single crochet stitch. In your second double crochet, you're going to switch to your color C. So yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, Yarn over and pull through two and then drop your color B, pick up the color C, place it on your hook and pull through. You can then chain one and turn your work. We're going to begin row four by working in our color C and working a single crochet into the first stitch. You're then going to double crochet into the middle double crochet of the set of three down below. Okay, so you have your set of three in between your double crochet two together. You have three double crochets down here in your color A. You're going to work a double crochet into the center stitch, into that second double crochet. You're then going to work three double crochets into the space between the first two clusters. So you've worked your double crochet into that middle stitch, now just into the space between the next cluster and your previous, it's kind of a half a cluster of stitches, you're going to work three double crochet stitches. So we're now working under our previous row. You're now going to work a double crochet two together, inserting your hook in the same double crochet stitch that you worked your last spiked or long double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into that center double crochet stitch two rows below, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two, then skip that shell reaching across into the next center double crochet, into the next uh, second one of that set of three, two rows below, complete your double crochet two together. You're then going to work three double crochet stitches into the space between 
the uh, two cluster stitches. So into your two, between your two shell stitches. There's one, two, and three. Going to repeat this all the way across, double crochet two together, working into the second double crochet of those sets of three on either side of your shells. Three double crochets into the space between the two shells of the previous row. and double crochet two together. You're going to repeat this all the way across and when you come to your final stitch we'll be single crocheting into that final stitch and switching back to our color A. When you come across at the end of your row four you're going to work one final long double crochet into that center double crochet stitch two rows below and then finish off with a single crochet into the top of your turning chain. Yes, and sorry, into that single crochet you're going to switch to your color A. You can then chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. You're now going to begin this row five by working a double crochet into this first stitch followed by a spiked double crochet or a long double crochet two together into the double crochet that's right down there two rows below it'll be the first double crochet and then finishing that double crochet two together in the next center double crochet two rows below skipping that shell in between then just as you did before, work three double crochets into the space between your two shells, next two shell stitches. Double crochet two together and repeat all the way across. When you come all the way across, you're going to finish by working two double crochet stitches into that final stitch, switching over to your color B. Chain one and turn. And that's all there is for working this nesting shell stitch. For the rest of the pattern, you are going to simply repeat your rows three and four for as long as you would like. Once you are finished, fasten off, weave in your ends, and uh, enjoy your final project. So thank you so much for joining me, and uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again next week for another great stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Thank you.